Hi everyone, thank you for watching my presentation. My name is Karen Simmons and today I'm going to explain to you how to dip an underground fuel tank. This presentation is intended for Alaskan homeowners with buried fuel tanks. It may sound like a simple process but there actually are a few little things I think everyone should know before diving in and, and measuring the fuel in their tank. So first we're going to start with an overview of these steps. So I'm going to explain um, how to locate your fill pipe, clearing the lid and the base of the fill pipe, um, how to uh, get the dipstick free of contaminants before dipping the tank, and then of course dipping the tank and reading the measurements. For this you'll need old gloves unless you'd like your hands to smell like diesel, the proper dipstick for your tank, um, a shovel is optional depending on how much snow you need to clear away from the fill pipe, and then the key or combo to your tank lock if you do have a lock on your tank. So step one, locate the fill pipe. So this is, uh, this is my house outside and we have the tank and right here is the vent pipe and right here is the fill pipe. You don't want to access the vent pipe, that's you know just a vent, but this is uh, actually where fuel goes in um, when you have a delivery for fuel. So step two, clear debris and open the lid. So here's my fill pipe before clearing snow. It's, you know, covered. Um, if I was to just open it right then and there, it's likely that snow would get into the tank, which isn't good because, you know, water in your tank rusts your tank and it makes wear and it's just not good for your the the lifespan of your tank. So this is what it looks like after after it's been cleared. You want to clear the perimeter around the fill tank, just so that uh, nothing can get in once you open the lid. So now uh, you want to unlock your lock if you do have one. Uh, check again for more debris in case you know while you were unlocking you knocked some snow onto the lid. And then uh, open the lid. And step three, uh, before you dip the stick, you want to check it. There are a couple things you want to check uh, your dip stick for before dipping into your tank. First, most importantly, or possibly most importantly, you want to make sure you have the right dip stick for the size of your tank. I personally have a 500 gallon tank. This dip stick has a few measurements on it on every side. It says 1500, so that wouldn't work for my tank. I actually have a custom made dipstick for my tank that I had to make um, in order to get a proper reading. If you don't get a proper reading, it could run into a lot of problems. You might think you have more fuel than you do, um, and if you don't, you know, your house could freeze up and it could cost thousands of dollars of damages. So the next thing you want to do with the dipstick is clear it, just like the fill pipe, clear it of contaminants. This is like checking the fuel in your, or the oil in your car. Uh, you, you clean the stick for a proper reading. And we want to clean the dipstick for our fuel tank because again, just like clearing the fill pipe, we don't want anything bad going into our tank and contaminating our fuel and possibly causing debris inside that could get uh, fed into the feed pipe that goes into your furnace. So step four, dipping the tank and checking the level. So you open the lid, you put the dipstick down, you let it lower um, without letting go of the stick. Uh, people lose their dipsticks into their tanks um, quite often and this is a another piece of debris in your tank and you have to you know either leave it in there or remove the entire tank dig it up you know it costs a lot of money so don't lose your dipstick in your tank so you lower the dipstick into your tank until you feel it hit the bottom 
of your fuel tank. And then you start um, pulling it back up again. And uh, like, you know, this is not like checking the oil in your car. You don't clean the dipstick and then put it back in for a proper reading. This is just a basic, you know, you're going to get the reading you get on the first try because a car moves around and the oil sloshes around getting an improper reading, but a fuel tank is like static in the ground and you're going to get a proper reading from the first try. So uh, pull the stick up, let the last few uh, drops of diesel um, go back into the tank and check for the level of fuel. You want to see how far up the fuel stuck on the dipstick and that's going to indicate how much fuel you have left in your tank. On mine, I, it looks like I have about 200 gallons left out of a 500 gallon tank and I ordered more fuel today because that is, in my terms, that's, that's low. So that is it and for a quick review, what we did is uh, I explained how to locate the fill pipe to clear the lid and the base of the fill pipe uh, to make sure your dipstick is first the right size and free of contaminants that could get into your tank when you dip and then um, dip the tank and you uh, read the fuel measurements. Thank you for watching my presentation. Again, I am Karen Simmons and this is how you dip an underground fuel tank. Thanks for watching.